here's how you can add students. Just go to Modules, Academics and Learning, Manage Students. Let's add a student. Fill out all necessary details and simply click Add. Let's view and edit the profile of the student we just created. Let's change the gender. You can also directly edit the profile. Simply click the Edit Profile icon. You can add or delete attachments. For now, we will continue without adding attachments. You can delete a record, manage attachments or manage the ID card of a selected student. You can also do a bulk upload of students' data. Just go to Settings at the top right-hand corner of the page. Then go to Import-Export Data. First, export the data to get a template. In the Excel file, you can update or add student details Note that all mandatory fields, including class, section and student ID, need to be entered. Here, we are just changing some details before we upload. Now let's go back to the import page. Select the CSV or Excel file that you have saved to upload. Enable Update Existing Records to rewrite the data already in the system. While enable update systems to activate, only to reactivate alumni students to active students. Here, you can either manually or auto-select fields to match the columns in the Excel file. Note that we have just updated 15 records. In Classy 365, you can also customise the dark fields in the student profile. You just have to go to the Manage Students Fields menu. These are the existing fields we have. Let's add a field in the Academic Details section. Select the text icon and drag it to the location you want. Let's enter a field name. You can also set the Edit and View privileges. Notice the messages that appear as you select rules and other options. Here's the field we created. You can also delete the field if we want. We can also add a section or field groups. By default, the new section is added at the bottom. Let's move this section to the top. Then let's add some fields to this section. Hold the icon and drag it to the location you want. Let's edit this text area. Here's the field we added. Next, let's add a date field. You can also add a field with the list of values. Enter a comma-separated list of values. These values will appear as a drop-down list. You can add a checkbox field. You must enter a comma-separated list of checkbox values. We will skip this for now. Let's open a student profile and confirm if the new fields appear on the profile page. Here's the demo section we created. And that's how easy it is to add students in Class E365. Thank you for watching.